Hey YouTube, it's Mrs. CP. Today we are going to be making grape jelly and grape leathers. Um, I'm using my new steam juicer, which I didn't know if I was gonna actually use it a whole lot, but it turns out I really love it. So we're gonna be doing the grape jelly in the steam juicer, and because these are seedless grapes, I'm gonna be taking the pulp and everything that's left over after I've steamed them and putting them in my food processor and putting them in the dehydrator to dehydrate. So we'll see how that turns out. I haven't done that yet because I usually just throw the, the pulp out after, or I give it to the chickens when I'm done. But I wanted to give you an idea of how my steam juicer works before I get started. I just got done picking up about two bags of grapes. I've got another two bags I still have to do. I'm gonna wash these and get the steam juicer started so I can get started on all that. But with the steam juicer, you can actually leave them right on the vine. But because I am going to be doing roll-ups, I decided that I was just going to pick them off of the vine just to make it a little bit easier. But this, this is my, my steam juicer. This is the bottom portion where you actually put the water in. And then the, I don't know if I can do this with one hand. The second part sits on top of it and the steam will come up through here and steam the fruit and the juice will all collect down here and you can drain it out with this tube that has a clamp on it. And then the third part is the strainer where all the fruit sits and then as it starts to steam through, it'll all soak through the holes. So I'm gonna get my grapes washed up and get these ones thrown in there so those can start and then finish up my last two bags of grapes and I'll bring you back when I'm ready to make the jelly. Alright, so it's been about 30 minutes that my grapes have been steaming. Let's peek inside. As you can see, you don't need to cut them up as I steam up the camera. Because once they heat up, they'll actually start to split. So the only thing once you put everything in really is just to watch it because I'm trying to unsteam the camera. Hold on. You'll have to drain the juice out every once in a while. Now, I'm not using Concord grapes. I'm using red grapes and green grapes because they were on sale. So then you just release the valve and let some of the juice drain out. Like I said, it's been about 30 minutes and I've already got a ton of juice in there. And it's very hot, so I recommend if you have kids to try to keep them away from it as much as possible. just keep coming back periodically to check and to drain the juice and this is the juice we'll be using to make our jelly from. I will be back. Alright so I have steamed all of my grapes and as you can see I got quite a bit of grape juice. It's all kind of foamy from pouring it in there but I think I may end up just canning some grape juice too so I'm not making a whole bunch of jelly. And then now I've got my what's left in my food processor. The lighting kind of sucks, but, but this is all that's left. So I'm going to add some sugar to it and blend it up and then strain it again into the juice, into my pot of juice to add that to the juice bucket, as I call it. And we're going to make some roll ups out of that. So let me get this all blended and we'll see how it turns out. All right, YouTube, so this is what I got out of those four bags of grapes. I got a quart of actual just grape juice that we're just, we canned the juice because I didn't want to make that much jelly. And I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight half pints of jelly. They're still hot out of them. And then I took the rest of the grapes after they were steamed and I put them in the food processor with a little bit of sugar. So I've got those on the dehydrator dehydrating so we'll see how those turn out and I'll bring you back once those are all ready. Alright so there you have it after using my steam juicer to juice my grapes I got all of this out of it and the leather the fruit leather actually turned out really good it tastes like raisins. Um, my son tried it and he's already ate half of a tray so it it was definitely worth it. It took a little bit longer to dehydrate than I wanted it to because it still had a little bit 
too much juice left in it but it definitely turned out really good so I will post the recipe on the website and be sure to follow us on Facebook and subscribe and happy prepping and another quick tip when you're doing any type of fruit leather pizza cutter is awesome to use it, it makes it cutting them really easy just take them off their plastic tray put them on a cutting board and cut away all right that's all I have for you